Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Uh, today we're going to be re reviewing uh, the unit Nawi. Now, just before we carry on, <laughs> I need to stress the importance of having this unit. She is by far, in my opinion, the most effective and essential unit that you will be able to acquire relatively free to play. Now what I mean by this is you won't need to summon on oath, you don't need to summon using oracle tokens, um, you will be able to use the oracle currency um, to buy and I'll go into that in a little bit but first let's get into the details of what she does. First of all her ultimate ability as the embodiment of a Black Panther, Nawi delivers a deadly blow to backline enemies dealing 250% physical damage and has a 100% base chance to apply two stacks of attack boost on herself and allies in the same line. So not only does she uh, deal uh, a massive amount of damage, but she will also uh, buff the team, so applying a, a small support role as well. The second passive, Battle Tornado, uh, with a swift leap, now, uh, now he transforms into a spinning tornado, launching an attack uh, to the backline enemies, dealing 100% physical damage, and has a 100% base chance to apply two stacks of attack boost on herself and allies in the same line. So, effectively, if you put her in the backline, you will have the most amount of targets for her small support buff uh, to kick in. Now, it is only two stacks of attack boost, and without a character that can increase that limit um, she will effectively be up to a full stack uh, by turn t oh, sorry, by the end of turn three after she's applied that as will the enemy uh, as will the allies on the back line if you choose to place her there now this is where she gets crazy <laughs> and deals the massive amount of damage that um, you have probably seen so if you've not fair play i i couldn't get over how good this character was and i didn't have a single copy of nawi until i was level 80 which is uh, quite a ways away quite a way into the game um but as soon as i did realize that she is absolutely essential for any sort of uh early mid late game content absolutely i invested as much as i could uh, into getting her um, to where she is now, currently 12 stars for me. Um, I just need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine more copies to get her up to 15 stars. But I think you, you really you only need um, an eight star Nawi for her to be effective. Nine stars if you want the next buff. So um, this one, after Nawi deals damage to the enemy, she has a 50% chance to follow up with four consecutive basic attacks on all enemies. This effect can be triggered one time per action at a maximum of four times throughout the entire battle. So really, you want that first trigger on her ultimate. If she deals damage during a, a basic attack uh, or with a verdant synergy, and we'll get into that in a little bit, um, it can be effective, but most of the time you want it after all of the buffs uh, from other units have been applied first to get the maximum amount of damage possible. Unfortunately, it is a 50% chance, so RNG, you know, we all, we're all at the mercy of RNG. The final passive is every 1% increase um, in Nawi's crit resistance rate additionally increases her attack by 1% and then 2%. Um, so the 1% the is, is quite effective and the 2%, even though it's only a percentage difference, it is actually quite uh, impactful. On the way that she performs so the teams that she's on glorians um by far the uh, best team not only because of nawi but because of the other units that are on here so we can see lily we can see talanas we can see gwim we can see uh, seraphina all of these uh characters are um i would say top tier s class um, so to speak so uh, very worthy investment in a team uh, and I would prioritize focusing your Glorian team over any other teams um, 
just primarily because of the longevity of the team. So they will be able to go from early game content all the way through uh, to end game content. The next synergy we're going to talk about is the Verdant synergy. Oh, sorry. So the the synergy here, sometimes you'll have four, sometimes you'll have three, sometimes you'll have five units within the Glorian synergy. Uh, the five at the start of battle applies five stacks of attack boost on the ally team for three rounds. Now, if you've not got a way of increasing that uh, stack limit, so the limit is always five, a uh, base limit is always five. If you have a character like Lilia here, uh, Lillian Leah here, uh, with the secondary buff um, when they're deployed, the limit of attack boost stacks increased by 10, which is for all allies. So a very useful unit to pair with Na'Vi, um, especially because you're going to have all of these um, all of these buffs kicking in, and the uh, the fifth or oh, sorry the yeah the uh, the five Glorians um, at the start of battle apply five stacks of defense reduction um, on all enemies for three rounds, and at the start of battle, ally team receives 100% control immunity and 25% damage boost for eight rounds, which is the 100% control immunity will get you through if you are having trouble with missions, if you are having trouble with Palace of Penrose, or Penrose, because there is a Talonas who keeps stunning all of your um, all of your units for two rounds, for one round. This control immunity will prevent that. So you have 100% um, control immunity and 25% damage boost for eight rounds. The damage boost is a different stack to attack boost, damage and attack are two different things in this game, um, so it's important for you to get the, the buffs as much as you can. With regards to relics, um, as you can see, the spear, I do not have, um, <laughs> it's just, if you have that, you are on the right track, to say, but it is it is expensive if you would like to buy it. So when a Glorian Synergy Mate attacks, if you have three uh, relics deployed, it has a 100% chance um, to take three stacks of base buffs, such as attack boost, defense boost, etc., from the target. Uh, and it steals 20% attack from all enemies uh, and applies it on the Glorian Synergy Mates. Uh, the stolen amount cannot exceed 40% of their own attack. Absolutely fine, and it debuffs the enemy. Or not debuffs, but returns them back to a neutral state. Um, and that's for all uh, your Glorian Synergy mates whenever they attack. So you steal the buff, you apply the debuffs, um, and then and then you take it from there. It just absolute savagery. Uh, the Verdant, uh, so usually you will have two Verdants, so you will have uh, Leah and you will have uh, Na'Vi on the same team. Whenever a Synergy mate takes action, they have a 30% to start uh, a Sync Attack. Sync Attack deal 100% basic attack damage. Now basic attack damage is very important for Na'Vi if you have her exclusive runes and I would suggest getting her exclusive runes up to a gold um, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, legendary runes if you want to go ahead and, and do that absolutely fine I, I don't particularly have a problem with it but there are other units that you could be investing your legendary uh, runes and uh, currency into. So when an ally unit takes action, there is a 30% start um, a sync attack. Sync attack deals 200% basic attack damage. You are probably never going to get that 5. You may get the 3 um, uh, during uh, Lost Tower, or if, if you if you need to complete a Verdant Synergy for whatever reason. But usually we'll have the 2, and it's just uh, Na'Vi and uh, Lily and Leah as well. Uh, and Strikers, um, basic, really basic stuff. Uh, increases attack. Uh, of synergy mates by 25% every round. Usually we'll pair Na'Vi uh, and Atrops. I have a, a video on Atrops if you want to go and check that out. Um, but usually we'll just have two strikers or if you have uh, a Seraphina, you'll have the three uh, striker synergy buff uh, on the team. So uh, increased attack of all allies by 25% 20 every round, which is um, very useful um, in uh, PvE in PvP, just increasing the attack every round. Uh, you probably get up to um, a maximum of three to four rounds before either you are dead or um, the enemies are all wiped out as well. So it's just something to, to keep in mind. Uh, now we've gone through the synergies. 
I just want to show you where um, you can obtain Nawi from. Um, so if we go back to the uh, city, the first place that you can obtain Nawi is through the Synergy Summons. Now, if you are willing to spend um, three three pounds, you know, nine pounds or um, twenty pounds or whatever it is in relevant currency for you, um, I would suggest it is it is a relatively worthy investment, sort of early to mid game, just primarily for summoning on Glorians. Um, you do have an increased chance. So if you click on the question mark up at the top left, you can see here um, now his chance is. Uh, 0.67% and you are guaranteed to get a, um, a legendary hero uh, if you do spend enough on here. Now if you are free to play there are other options available. You can go through to the Oracle Temple and just as a side note while we are here do not summon on any of these. Please, please, please do not summon on any of these. You want to be summoning on Divine or Demon, four or five star hero shards. It's the far right here. Um, and when you summon, you will have the chance to obtain uh, a Divine or uh, a Demon hero, uh, a Legendary, which for me, over the course of the game, is much easier. You can also obtain Naui through the, uh, the Woodland, four or five star hero summon. But again, I would only ever spend Oracle tokens on this particular section. So if you go into the Oracle shop, uh, you can see as I scroll down, here is Naui, uh, she's worth 50. I would suggest if you are early to mid game, um, so between uh, levels at 1 through to, I would say about 80, um, to, to purchase Naui uh, with your first couple. So get her up to 8 stars, and after that, um, just let, let uh, Naui come to you naturally. Uh, through summons uh, and through uh, other other methods, through tickets, potentially if you save up. Um, Nawi to me, if you obtain two copies of Nawi uh, for a hundred, um, it's much better than getting any of these um, other D and D heroes, primarily because they, although they are powerful in their own right, um, they have nowhere near as much range. Uh, as now we will, so I would definitely suggest um, getting her from from this shop uh, if you are if you do want to uh, get her up to eight stars, and then again after that, um, I would I would just let her come to you naturally. So the final place again is the Hall of Heroes through the Advanced Summon. Uh, through the Advanced Summon, uh, there'll be a um, a rebate up in the top right where I'm clicking at the moment. Uh, you can obtain her through uh, summoning 600 times uh, on this on this rebate, and there are certain tickets which do include Nawi. Um, there are other uh, YouTubers out there and other content creators uh, who will show you where the, the best place to spend this type of currency is or what you should be prioritizing with those tickets are. So I won't um, go too much into it, but I'm just going to show you some gameplay of Nawi uh, just to show you the, the power uh, that she does have. So we're in the lost city at the moment. Let's go all the way down to the lowest one. Let's get some missions done. Uh, I'm going to jump into a, a celestial or a deviant uh, event, and we're just going to show you uh, a good lineup for Nawi as well. So I'll go into Glorians. We're going to choose Nawi. We're going to choose um, Lily. We're going to choose Kalinas, Gwyn. And Serafina for this one, but you can switch out Serafina for Marcia, which is the um, this is the the most appropriate um, build or the uh, the build that everybody will go with, uh, just primarily because of the shield increase um, from uh, Marcia, uh, because of the stacks uh, that Talonus provides and Gwyn provides, uh, and the increase in the stack limit that Lily will provide as well. All buffing now we so we'll go with this one for now just because it's the team that you may have seen uh, the most I'm just going to pop in lantern because I don't currently have the spear if I had the spear that would go straight in shield and then finally um, the hand of tear as well so let's see how this does So 
for the reason that you would choose Marcia as well is because of the Monarch Synergy, you may have seen it pop up. Um, the Holy Shield uh, with uh, Gwyn as well. Uh, the alternative is, is Seraphina uh, for these types of missions. And the reason that you would choose Seraphina is because of the Blessing buff uh, that she provides. So that is on the first one, as you can see, it's not done as much damage as we would have liked. Uh, and it's because um, our stacks haven't built up. So you can see that our stacks are building up. I think we are fully built up now. So Marcia will attack. She'll do a little bit of damage. And then here we go. Now we're taken straight out. And you can see the four stacks of attack, um, or the basic attack damage that's being done. We'll finish off here. Um, after two rounds, absolutely just wiped them all out. She will get you through content, difficult content, um, very, very quickly. So I'll jump into another stage, potentially a striker's build. Hold on. There we go. So we'll, we'll jump into uh, a different team. And we'll just have a look on here. So we'll go Atrops. And then we will go Lily. Seraphina, uh, and then why not? We will go with Talinas because of the celestial synergy. Again, we'll keep the uh, we'll keep the the relics the same, just because we're on a, a Glorians team. And we'll go through and see how she does in this one. See if the striker synergy does make any difference. So you see no holy shield on this one, which is why Marcia can be preferable um, over uh, this type of build as well. But the three main units that you want to pair, oh sorry, the two main units you want to pair um, with Nawi uh, are Lily uh, and uh, Atrops as well. Um, just because of the amount of damage uh, that is done as well. So we can see the 40% attack buff. The shield goes on, uh, increasing others' attacks as well. Uh, the Relic shield will come down, and then I doubt this will do too much damage. See the 50% chance there, it can be um, annoying if it doesn't trigger, which is why you've got that RNG chance with Narvi. It is really the only reason that she is balanced at all. But <laughs> as you can see, the Holy Shield was the only thing that prevented the damage to these two. They're both stunned, there's not much else that can be done. Um, and the striker synergy will, will kick in again, raising attack by 25% for all allies. Uh, again, it is just just um, it's just a total wipeout. So the final thing that I just wanted to go through with Nawi uh, are the exclusive runes. So the exclusive runes here, the Scarlet Slash. I would say, if you are going to build an Nawi. Uh, I would definitely suggest investing at least gold uh, exclusive runes for her. So magic damage uh, uh, reduction is increased by 30% for all allies. And after dealing basic attack damage, there's a 33% chance to apply defense reduction on the target for three rounds. Now, the way that that pairs up with... The way that that pairs up with Naui's ability is... She will follow up with four consecutive basic attacks on all enemies. So it has a 33% chance to apply defense reduction four times. Uh, if you do it off of a basic attack for the enemy that you're attacking, it can be up to five uh, stacks of defense reduction, which is why she does so much damage. The uh, red exclusive rune, so I've, I've got her up to 100, of course. There's always one, a heal rune, who, who cares? Um, but... The Scarlet Slash Evolved magic damage uh, is increased by 40% for all allies. After dealing basic attack damage, there is 100% a chance to apply um, defense reduction on target for three rounds. The 100% damage, uh, the 100% chance and 33% chance, it is a large difference um, on paper, but you're already doing so much damage anyway. It's more, um, it's more kill more or um, win more. It's a win more strategy. You're already going to be winning if you've got her gold exclusive runes. Um, the Scarlet Slash will increase the, the magic damage reduction by an additional 10%, but it's the 
the increase from 33% chance to 100% chance to apply a stack of defence reduction, um, which can be worth the investment. Now, that's it for me with Naui. There's not too much else to go through. Um, I'd just like to thank you for watching. Um, if you would like to know more or if you have any questions uh, about Naui or team builds or just general questions about the game, uh, please do visit the Discord. Um, it is a very friendly place. People do um, respond well uh, to your questions and they will they will try and help you as much as possible. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you. Uh, if you would like to subscribe or if you would like to leave a like or if you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, or if I've missed anything, leave a comment as well. I'd uh, just like to say thank you uh, and have a good day.